Have you guys ever seen a pizza that big? Like, comparison. That looks so good. <laughs> So, love. I know what you guys are thinking, because I'm so young, I've probably never experienced love. But that's not true, actually I have. Today I wanted to share a story with you guys about the first time I fell in love, and also the first time that I had my heart broken. Now I know the title may like trip you guys out, you may be thinking like, this guy's a weirdo, but let me explain a little bit about what the title means and how it came to that, and I will um, hopefully clear your guys' mind of any bad thoughts you have of me. <laughs> so long story short, in this girl named Jennifer, met in third grade I think she was a year above me because she's a year older than me but I remember like we would always hang out during recess and um, I'm not trying to like to my own horn but I think I was a stud back then because I had multiple girls like that wanted to date me now dating back then was just a playful childish thing we were just like oh you'll be my girlfriend you know like kind of like a recess girlfriend so now that I said that obviously a recess girlfriend is something that's not that serious um but let me tell you how this was more serious so this girl named Rayana really liked me and Jennifer liked me as well and I like Jennifer personally but for some reason they had to bow it out over me so Jennifer ended up shoving a mop up Rayana's mouth um, so she did get in trouble for that but the weird part was that I got expelled because they were fighting over me so I was the one that got in trouble anyways Jennifer won and she took my heart but honestly she had my heart to begin with but I think I, I love this girl like she was amazing she was like one of my best friends and I thought we had something really special so anyway let's cut to the chase she invited me over on a play date I had never been on a play date with a girl before so like the moment I got home I told my dad like hey you need to take me you need to take me so I think that Saturday we planned to have me come over to her house so my dad drove us and then the weird part was was when we got to Jennifer's house uh, we found out that my dad and her mom knew each other from high school obviously that was super weird but they got to reconnect again uh, me and Jennifer had an amazing time but I think a couple months went by and my dad and I had to leave our apartment and we ended up moving in with them so I don't know if you were in third grade and could tell your friends that you were living with your girlfriend but this man could <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, things were like really great and like we would hang out all the time But I just remember becoming really really close with them and like I I love Jennifer like with all my heart I still do but <sighs> things come to an end and sadly she had a good reason to end it so for some reason my dad and her mom started getting a little bit closer um, we weren't a hundred percent sure on like if they were dating or talking or whatever but we just assumed it because I guess little kids are pretty smart but so what happened was Jennifer said that she felt like they were gonna get together and that's where that comes into play I almost dated my stepsister <laughs> so I know that was a little bit of clickbait but yeah I almost dated my stepsister but she broke it off before that happened but anyway um, I still loved her and I, I I wasn't upset that she broke up with me we still hung out every day I mean we lived in the same house together and like one of the memories I remember the most about it is that we would always go get burritos together and she would always eat the red hot sauce and I would always eat the green hot sauce and they would make fun of me because I couldn't handle the red sauce but yeah, that, that was pretty funny. So anyway, I'm gonna give you a little context about the place that we lived at. So, so Jennifer's mom's father owned this place and he converted it into like multiple like houses. So it was like a big apartment area and there was a bunch of people renting it out, but it was in one complex with like a gated community type thing, but it was super small. Obviously the property was pretty big um, for just one house, but because it was divided and we had like multiple cars, there wasn't like a crazy amount of space. But there was this one guy named Cameron who I was pretty good friends with and we would hang out and stuff and go adventure all the time. But 
This one time we planned to all camp in like a tent together. So we did, there was a few older people and then there was, you know, the younger kids, which was me and I was eight at this time. I think Jennifer was nine and Cameron was like nine or 10, something like that. Me and Jennifer weren't together at this point, but we all were sleeping in the tent together and I really remember like wanting to get close to her. I wanted to cuddle with her and stuff and she ended up cuddling with my friend Cameron. But anyway, so yeah, that really made me upset. I remember I went like inside the house and I was crying and like I remember Jennifer's mom was asking me like, what's wrong? And it, like I, I wouldn't rat Jennifer out because I wasn't like that, but um, yeah, I remember just being very sad and upset about it. But that was a story of the first time I got my heart broken. Uh, but Jennifer, if you're watching this, I love you. We're still really good friends, if you guys don't know, but I just thought I should share that funny story with you because like, obviously it's like a look back into my past and I have an interesting past. So like, if you guys do wanna know any more videos about like me when I was younger or any interesting stories that I may have, just write in the comments below. But uh, make sure you leave a thumbs up on this video and I will see you in the next video. Also, I wanna give a quick update. I'm gonna be getting a few more items of gear and then not only that I'm getting a drawing pad so then when I do story times like this I can add like animations in the stories because I think that would be kind of interesting instead of you guys looking at my face for you know two three minutes but anyway guys thank you so much I'm gonna skip this to the vlog and we're gonna go get some Christmas presents but uh, let's do it Jax what are you doing Jax what are you doing None of the lights are on in my house, so like, let's turn them on. <gasps> There's my tree. I don't think I've been able to show you this yet, but my grandma bought my grandpa a present, but I've been using it a lot lately, and it's this. It's a hoverboard. <laughs> anyway, I like it. I think it's pretty cool. Um, now I officially have my own hoverboard. Technically it's not mine though, but it's mine. Do you hear that? There's bats up there. Do you guys hear that? There's bats. Weird. Ooh. Can I make it down this slope? Okay, you guys ready? If I don't make this, wish me luck. I did it! I did it! <laughs> you, you. Well, that's fun. That's so nice. Wait. Do you guys see any money in there? I'm just joking. What? What? Timmy, hey. I got a card. It's for you. <laughs> Thank you.
peculiar place to have a party.